Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vikas, my colleague Yana Nikolayevna, Deputy Dean of Palm State Medical University. Friends, as you see, we have many departments nearby this building. So, we have four departments anatomy, anatomy, biology, and histology. So, let's start the view of this department. And now we will see another museum, also downstairs. There is special pool with cadavers, but according to ethics of our university, we can show cadavers in video for you right now. So, if you are a student, you can come here and practice with cadavers. But just in video, unfortunately, we can show such kind of things. That's why just some interesting things in anatomy music. That's all. So, first room of anatomy museum. Let's go inside. a little bit about this museum. So please, Sinoj, what you can tell me? Uh, actually, we are at the Anatomical Museum. And if you are talking about this Anatomical Museum, it was founded in the year 1916 and by Professor Gay, Professor Vikesh Kmit. For, for, um, for the memory of Vikesh Kmit, we have created a working corner over here with, um, where his things are located. And we are having a handmade wooden chair over here and only three of such things are exhibited in all over Russia and we can see a huge collection of skulls over here and uh, this was excavated from the banks of river Serbia in the year 1926 even we are having an embalmed body of uh, former worker of this university so uh, and she provided her body for us after her death and the main attraction of this department is this skeleton in an impressive size. Uh, this skeleton is having many manifestations of osteochondrosis, and not only that, there are also brain preservations of uh, Professor Hengel and Ashmi and uh, we constantly replenish the drugs and uh, there are almost 800 uh, natural preparations over here and in some of them are totally unique and that's the pride of our university. So let's go in another room, it was just the first room of our anatomy museum and there are some new Good afternoon, I'm Anita Sena. I'm a student of first year studying in Palm State Medical University. Uh, this room right here is the second anatomical museum. Uh, there, are some which, um, there are some models which are exhibited here by the students of scientific community. Uh, they prepare and uh, here they are exhibited uh, such as there is this uh, nervous system. Uh, there is a circle of uh, willis. There is this circle of villas and there are some models which are prepared by cloth. Uh, this is the ascending aorta. Um, there are some also specimens of human body. Uh, so the specimens and the models uh, here help us to gain more knowledge, more knowledge about anatomy. So as you can see here, some things that students can teach themselves. It's really interesting that students can take part in student scientific society, make some models of organs uh, using different materials, using different things and their skills will be better because of it. So let's go and look some other rooms because we have many rooms in Anatomy Museum. One more room is open. Let's continue. Uh, this is the third room of anatomy. 
environmental museums where uh, there are uh, these organs exhibited uh, the upper extremities head and neck uh, the students here come for the practical classes after the classroom lectures where in classroom lectures we have ppts prepared by the teachers we learn many things here uh, there are class tests held and orals held these uh, organs help us to learn more about um, more about the anatomy of the human body uh, there is also a model handmade model of the skeleton prepared by the students so uh, through this like we can learn many things in um, anatomy and it's very helpful we gain a lot of knowledge here and there are many many advantages and uh, about this room where we observe uh, even in atlas we see only in pictures but here as we can observe the organs of a specific part So as you can see, there are many rooms and different organs. Um, again, unfortunately, we can't show you all details uh, because it's uh, prohibited according to ethics of our university. But when you will be a student, when you come here, you can look all organs, all tissues. You can study everything, touch, and maybe make some things yourself. And also. I think we can uh, talk a little bit with teacher of anatomy department, Ms. Aksana Rodzivarovna. She has good and big experience of working with our foreign students. So let's uh, come and ask her some questions for you. So, is always being more at our country. Students from the first uh, to four years study in our department. They study human anatomy, pathological anatomy and operative surgery. I have been uh, working in the department uh, for 11 years. Um, for four years I have been teaching uh, Indian and Arabic students in English. My students are very kind and uh, hardworking. Uh, they very like anatomy and our practical classes. So, and here also you can see Evgeny Antonovich Wagner. We know that our university is named after our uh, academician partner Evgeny Antonovich. So, is the greatest surgeon and anatomist and we are really very proud that um, he was head of our university for many years. Uh, right now let's go upstairs to histology department. Uh, I think histology department is also a very interesting department and uh, I work in histology department. Hello, my name is Rajiv. I'm a third year medical student of Pharmacy. And this is our histology department. In histology, we learn about microbial anatomy of uh, organs, their function, and their morphology. Here are some pictures taken under microscope. Uh, we can see some nerve endings, the glomerular plus and everything. Here, here is cross section of that thumb, esophagus, and everything. So this picture, this picture helps us to get a better understanding about the things that we cannot usually see in the microscope. Here are some later magnifications and some like that. Now we will see the working of the microscope. So here we have a light microscope. For this we have to move this stage away from the objective. We will place a slide under it. We usually view it under 10x magnification adjust the objective and we get a picture. For better understanding of it, sometimes teachers use microscope with uh, screens and cameras, like if students cannot find the picture by themselves. Here we have a cross section of the surface. We can see mucosa, submucosa and external muscularis layer. 
There's lamina propria, the ducts in the submucosal layer, and the excretory duct of the glands. This room is usually used for research, but many students have done their PhD from this room. Um, like we have a microscope with camera here. This, um, this is a very complex device. It, it usually gives fluorescence to the, to the slide and helps uh, for a person to give a better diagnosis of, um, of the thing we are looking at. Uh, an assistant is sitting here, he looks at the field and uh, 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 another person looks at the screen and he tells the person to focus on a specific slide and find out the, find out the feature he is trying to look at. Then we have uh, reverse microscopy. Reverse microscopy, we usually, reverse microscopy is usually used to um, find um, find denser of find usually done for denser objects like bone to see the calcification of the bone. Uh, sometimes for arteries and for veins. Then we have fluorescence microscopy. In fluorescence microscopy, it is usually done for uh, obviously coronary artery and heart. We have. Um, Dark and light field microscopy. It is usually used for living, living, living objects like life, living microorganisms to see their colonies or to see the work of whether the medicine that is used is effective or not. So this all help us to get a better understanding of histology. Uh, we have practical classes after every lecture. Our teacher shows us the slide, and we get a better understanding about histology. So you. Uh, just so white uh, microscopy and white microscopes, different variants of light microscopes. And here there are some pictures which were done under electronic microscope. Um, real photos and some scans also. Uh, it's absolutely different things here, yeah, like microscopy and electronic microscopy. Uh, Unfortunately, today we can't see electronic microscope with you, but I hope that uh, when you come to our university, you will not just uh, look slides, not just study normal things in histology, but you can also open more new things for you. And um, there was a table with pictures with different photos under microscope. First time when uh, students came to our department, they think that all these things are the same. Really, all organs, all tissues looking similar to them. But at the end of our course, they can easily differentiate what is it, which organ is it. Stomach, esophagus, liver, maybe it's some kind of tissue, epithelial tissue, blood, and so forth. So, we like our department, we like histology, I think it's very interesting subject and I really hope that you will like it too. That's why I really want to see all of you here in Penn State Medical University. We are ready to teach you, we are ready to take you in our student scientific societies, in anatomy student scientific society, in histology, or any other student scientific society that you can choose. So, come here and you will be a great student at home.